In this guide, we're going to go over picking desires and powers in the opening of Kingdom Hearts 3, including how picking these choices affects your base stats, and even more importantly, the order in which you unlock important abilities as you progress through the game. All this coming right up. Similar to the beginning choices featured in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, Kingdom Hearts 3 continues the tradition of offering players a couple of fairly cryptic choices right off the bat. To a brand new player, these choices can be a little intimidating because you may not even be sure what they do or what they mean, but as it turns out, these choices will indeed end up affecting important aspects of your gameplay for the next 30 to 40 hours of your journey. But have no fear, I'm going to walk us through exactly what each desire and power does in Kingdom Hearts 3. So for our first choice, the game asks you, what do you desire? And then you have to pick between wisdom, vitality, or balance. Depending on which desire you choose, you'll begin the game with different health points and mana points stats. If you choose wisdom, you'll begin the game with 90 HP and 120 MP. So this is a great choice for anyone who plans to use a lot of mana and doesn't care as much about their HP. It's the obvious choice for anyone wanting to use lots of magic and play more of a ranged character fighting from afar. If you choose Vitality, you'll start off with 120 HP and 100 MP. More health makes you a bit more beefy in fights, which adds some survivability when fighting up close with melee attacks. I'd suggest Vitality if you're the kind of player who doesn't care about magic and instead just wants to get up close and smack stuff with your Keyblade. And lastly, as the name implies, if you choose Balance, you'll begin with a balanced mix of health and mana, with 105 points of health and 110 points of mana. This is what I chose in my first playthrough and it felt pretty good. I like to spam my magic a bit and then finish off fights with physical attacks. It's not a bad choice if you're undecided about your preferred playstyle. So those are your three choices to determine your base HP and MP. These base stat numbers are the same across beginner, standard, and proud difficulty modes. It's also worth mentioning that no matter which desire you choose, your other base stats of strength, magic, and ability points will always start at 15, 8, and 28 respectively. So after you've decided and picked your desire, the game then asks what power do you seek, and offers another important choice that will also impact your game quite a bit. When choosing your desire, your choices are the Guardian, the Warrior, and the Mystic. Essentially, you're choosing to prioritize defense, physical offense, or magical offense. And your choice determines the order that you will learn abilities as you level up. I've mapped out each of the three desires up to level 40. As you can see, even in the first 20 levels, your abilities are very different based on the path you decide to take here. In fact, even at level 2, you begin to specialize Sora's abilities in very different ways. With Guardian, you gain a second damage control, which is a fantastic survival ability. Warrior gives you your first combo plus at level 2 to increase your damage right off the bat. And finally, Mystic gives you Magic Combo Thrift, which is one of the best abilities in the game for rapid fire magic casting. So as you can see, I've played through three times up to level 40 to list out the abilities. And if you're playing through KH3 at a normal pace, most people end the game somewhere around level 30 to 35. And just like the stats you get from choosing a power, your ability progression from desires is not affected by the difficulty setting you decide to play the game in. And just as a quick side note, if you're wanting to run through the game very quickly or even speedrun Kingdom Hearts 3, picking Mystic here is a must. Spamming magic is incredibly fun, but it's also just super fast at clearing out large waves of enemies. It's definitely my preferred way to play. And so, that is really all there is to say about the beginning choices in Kingdom Hearts 3. As you can see, you can kind of craft a playstyle that fits you with only two choices, which to me is pretty cool. Within the next week or so, I'm going to be completely leveling up a Guardian, Warrior, and Mystic run in order to track ability progressions all the way up to the max level of 99. I'm going to make a video showcasing all of those ability progressions, as well as just discussing abilities in general. So if you want to learn more about abilities, what they do, what the best ones are, stay tuned for that video. If you like this content, I have a ton more for you guys coming, 
So drop a like and click subscribe to stay connected and see more. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time.